Tag TV brings you daily news bulletin from India. Breaking news and views from India. You're watching South Asia Newsline and here are the top stories we are tracking for you on Thursday, the 4th of January. India's Foreign Minister S. S. Shankar meets Nepal's top leadership to boost ties. Former Pakistan PM Imran Khan charged with contempt of electoral watchdog. And Bangladesh deploys army to keep peace ahead of Sunday's election. And now for all the details, India's Foreign Minister S.A. Shankar on Thursday landed in Nepal's capital Kathmandu for a two-day visit on the invitation of his Nepalese counterpart N.P. Saud. Both the leaders co-chaired the 7th India-Nepal Joint Commission meeting and discussed economic relations, connectivity, trade and transit, education, culture and political matters among others. The two sides also signed an agreement on electricity trade to export 10,000 megawatts of electricity from Nepal to India in next 10 years. S. De Shankar later also called on Nepal's President Ram Chandra Podal and Prime Minister Pushpukamal Dehil. Earlier, India's Foreign Ministry in a statement termed Nepal as a priority partner as part of its neighbourhood first policy. It said the visit is in keeping with the tradition of high-level exchanges between the two close and friendly neighbours. Amid the Panu Ro, the Supreme Court of India on Thursday jumped a petition seeking consular access and legal aid for Indian national Nikhil Gupta, who is accused in a US court of plotting to assassinate Khalistani separatist Gurpatwan Singh Pannu. The court said they cannot go into the merit of the matter and they should respect the jurisdiction and sovereignty of the foreign court and the law of that land. Gupta was arrested late last year and is presently lodged in a prison in Prague. India has described it as a matter of concern. Pakistan's jailed former Prime Minister Imran Khan on Wednesday was charged with contempt of the Electoral Commission, his lawyer said, a move related to allegations he made derogatory remarks about the Chief Election Commissioner. Last week, a High Court refused to suspend Khan's disqualification from contesting the elections. 71-year-old Imran Khan has been embroiled in political and legal battles since he was ousted as Prime Minister in 2022. He has not been seen in public since he was jailed for three years last year for unlawfully selling state gifts when he was in power. Khan denies all charges and says he is being hounded by the powerful military which wants to keep him out of the polls due next month. Moving on, unrest has continued to rise in Gilgit Baltistan over the wheat crisis in the occupied region and government's decision to withdraw subsidies on the essential commodity, a report. Leaders of the Islami Tehreek Pakistan have announced they will hold massive demonstration across Gilgit Baltistan this month in response to rising wheat prices amid its shortage as well as other regional issues. Every social, religious and political group in the occupied region is opposing the government's decision to revoke the subsidy on wheat and other essentials. In addition, load shedding, land grabbing and resource exploitation are major sources of anger for local residents. There have been several protests over these issues in the past few months. But the Pakistan government has continued to ignore the people's plight. Sheikh Mirza Ali demanded the ministers and bureaucrats must surrender the extra facilities they enjoy. And amid calls for boycott of polls and violent protests by opposition, Bangladesh Nationalist Party 
armed troops were deployed across the country on Wednesday ahead of the national election. Soldiers in armoured vehicles were seen travelling to temporary camps set up across the capital Dhaka to help the civil administration maintain peace and security. The military in a statement has said the security personnel will only act on request from polling officers in case of any adversity. Notably, since October, anti-government protests by BNP have rocked Dhaka in which at least 10 people have been killed. Locals fear that the violence that has swept the country in the last two months could return after the poll. India's northern Manali is witnessing a huge influx of tourists as the Himalayan town is hosting a colourful winter carnival. The five-day festival is an annual celebration that features parades, folk dances, Himalayan folklore, theatre, food stalls and pageantry. Tourists and locals throng the festival arena on Wednesday, enjoying the carnival offerings amid the peak winter season. भूमि में जो विंटर कार्निवल हो रहा है उसमें हमारे द्वारा जो शिव भोलेनाथ को लोग यहाँ पर ज्यादा मानते हैं तो उसके ऊपर हम जो है भोले शंकर की जो बरात को है वो हमने दर्शाया है यहाँ पर The parade on Wednesday witnessed the involvement of cultural troops from Himachal Pradesh and other states presenting a vibrant display of traditions along with messages supporting social cause कार्निवल की सारी महत्वपूर्ण भूमिका भी जो विंटर कार्निवल की है वो भूमि ने ही निभा रही है तो ये इस चीज को दर्शाता है कि हिमाचल में भूमि का कितना सम्मान किया जाता है दैट्स ऑल इन टुनाइट्स एडिशन विल सी यू सेम टाइम टुमारो गुड नाइट टैग टीवी ब्रिंग्स यू डेली न्यूज़ बुलेटिन फ्रॉम इंडिया ब्रेकिंग न्यूज़ एंड व्यूज़ फ्रॉम इंडिया